The 6.5 is on the road in Boston, Massachusetts. We're at IBM Think 2024, and we are talking AI, AI, AI. It's been an incredible year so far, Daniel, and it seems like we're doing a lot of AI. Yeah, well, I mean, we knew this was the direction that it was going to be heading. It's been really moving this way for the last two years. And, and again, you and I have talked pretty endlessly about it. Four decades of AI and algorithmic de developments, and now we're starting to really see it come to life in the enterprise, and we're seeing the proliferation. And some of the consumer technologies that really brought it to the forefront is creating this vacuum and inertia of excitement for the enterprise, which is a lot of what we're hearing here at IBM Think. That's right, and a year ago, uh, IBM announced Watson X, uh, the 6.5, we were there we on were. site talking about it. And I remember as the follow-up, the company was the first company to have it go GA on an enterprise-wide AI platform. It was super amazing. I had to do the double click because it was just such a, a big deal. Uh, one theme that we talk about throughout our research and, and also our video analysis is that it takes a village. It does. Right? Uh, no company can go out there on their own, whether it's infrastructure, whether it's software, whether it's channels, it takes a village to accomplish what you need to do to serve those enterprises. And I am bringing back a guest of the 6.5 last year, Kate Woolley, who leads pretty much all of the IBM ecosystem. Kate, welcome back on the show. Thank you, fantastic to be here. Yes. Yeah, Kate, it's great to, to have you. You know, about a year ago we sat down, we sort of talked about the development of your partner yes. ecosystem and program, and you'd given us a bit of an update of where it's at. Yesterday, from the stage, we heard Arvind Krishna, you know, talking a little bit about some of these partnerships. Mm -hmm. We saw some press releases come yes. out, and I'm, I'm sure everybody out there would love to get a little bit of an update. What has happened over the last year, and how has the partnership program developed, Kate? So we've had a, a lot of momentum over the last year, Daniel. I mean, it's, it's continuing to build. Partner Plus has been around for over a year now. We're seeing a lot of momentum. You talked about it takes a village. I talked about in my keynote earlier in the week, it's all about collaboration. It's all about meeting our clients where they're at. We're seeing huge momentum with the program. We've had 1,500 new partners come into the program. People want to be a part of the IBM ecosystem. We've, brought, we've announced a lot of new strategic partnerships. I know we're going to talk a lot about those here. Uh, we've had our partners engage with our skilling. We've had over 250,000 skills added, badges added to our partner ecosystem. So just seeing an incredible amount of momentum. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm always struck with the amount of logos. I mean, it's not just the amount of logos, mm -hmm. but it's the, the depth and the breadth and the companies. And I was impressed, uh, Arvin, you know, did the logo slide mm -hmm. and it was pretty awesome. Um, a lot of people don't know what it takes to actually do your job. Uh, you know, we get little bite, bite sized nuggets of it mm -hmm. at events like this. We might see a press release mm -hmm. or something like that, but what does it take to, to, to manage a relationship, a very strategic relationship, so when I look at the companies that are on your docket? Yes. I think there are a lot of tangible and intangible elements as to when we, how and, and where we bring the partnerships together. I think to start with, we need recognition and acknowledgement up and down both organizations that we really want to lean in here, that we think we can do more together than we can do apart. Right. I think we want to think really big. We talk about billion dollar partnerships. We want both sides thinking about big partnerships together. Right. I think we have to bring the holistic view of both organizations. This can't just be a sales thing or a product thing. It has to bring together sales and product, IBM Consulting, Red Hat, all of that together. And then I think the, the intangible trust and transparency that we have in these partnerships is absolutely critical. We've got to be willing to break stuff right. and realize that when we build it back, it's going to be stronger, but we've got to have that trust there. Yeah, so it sounds like, first of all, a big process of determining who you want to partner with, mm -hmm. right? Because you could partner with everybody and anybody and everybody would want to partner with IBM on something, mm -hmm but it sounds like a strategic uh, outcome yes. is, is one. Uh, Co-investment, mm -hmm. I'm sure, uh, is, is in here. And you're obviously having 
I don't know, quarterly updates to, to make sure you're on you're on track. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. We're talking all the time. I mean, we might have formal <laughs> quarterly updates, but I'm talking all the time with right. with our partners. Hey, Kate, on what's all going different on? Things. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is uh, this is uh, uh, AWS. Yes, like, what's going yes, on here? Exactly. You know, which is is very much the norm with your customers. Meaning, mm -hmm. you know. In our firms, we work with hundreds of the most important tech companies in the world, and of course, you have your regular events like this, but in between, mm -hmm. you, you exactly. have to be, because, and by the way, with these transformations, Kate, that are going on, the new rollouts, new products, new, new yes. wins mm -hmm. are so much more frequent. The speed of innovation is happening so fast. So your fast. program has to innovate yes. really quickly. Yes. You know, I know, um, I, I, Arvin had, uh, you know, Shentanu uh, mm -hmm. from Adobe on stage. Mm -hmm. I think you've had some other big announcements I mentioned in the run-up AWS. Talk a little bit about some of these particularly impactful partnerships yes. and, and how they're progressing. Mm -hmm. There are so many to choose from, but let me hit a couple of them. You mentioned Shantanu on stage with Arvin, so Adobe is a fantastic example of a partnership where we're bringing the power of Watson X and Red Hat OpenShift to the Adobe Experience platform to help drive the customer experience for, for Adobe's clients. I think we've had Dell Tech World was this week as well, yes. and uh, there was an announcement around Dell Apex Cloud, which is leveraging IBM's Instana to do observability inside of that, so that's another great example of, of partnerships coming together. Uh, we talked, you mentioned AWS, uh, really strong partnership with AWS as we have a lot of our software offerings available on the AWS marketplace. We just expanded that from five countries to 92 countries globally. So huge availability and, and partnering with AWS. We have a great partnership with Microsoft bringing Aptio onto Azure and scaling that internally is one of the things we've been doing recently, but so much more to, to that partnership as well. So there are just, there are so many partnerships to choose from uh, and we're excited about where they're heading. Yeah, it's funny, uh, as, you're, as you rattle off uh, so, some of your strategic partners, I'm, I'm scrolling through the events that Dan and I attended, <laughs> yes. right? Adobe Summit, mm -hmm. Dell Tech World, mm -hmm. AWS reInvent, and uh, I, I am, I've been tracking IBM for almost 35 years, and it really does feel like a new, a new IBM, an IBM that knows what it wants to do itself, mm -hmm. uh, but more importantly, understanding how it needs to act, what it needs to do and activate clients, and which partners it needs to do uh, to fill in there. So, you know, hats off to you. Is Partner Plus two, two years old? Uh, we started last year, so it's a bit over a year old. So, we talked, well, I talked about the the, uh, the past. Yes. Uh, we talked about kind of what's going on right now. Can you give us a little glimpse of where you want to take this in, in the future? It's not yeah. like IBM's done partnering. Nope. Hey, we have our partners. <laughs> We're going to go do this generative AI thing. We'll talk to you in a few years. No. So what does the future look like, Kate? Well, I think when Arvind was with all of our partners on Monday and, and speaking them, with them at Partner Plus Day, from just a measurement standpoint, he talked about you know, around 30% of IBM's revenue with partners. We want to make that 50% in, in the next few years. Right. While obviously, the company's growing. So there is a lot of growth to come with our partners. And I think the way in which we do that, we want to continue to make sure that we're putting our clients at the center of this. This is about meeting our clients where they are and, sure. and delivering the most amount of value to them. And I think the way in which we do that is with the, the strategic partnerships, a lot of the, that we've talked about, how do we continue to do more with our strategic partners? But it's also about having the program recognize that partners are going to engage with us in lots of different ways. Right. So no matter what their business model is and no matter how they want to engage with IBM technology, whether it's embedding our technology, whether it's selling our technology, whether it's building services around our technology with right. our service partners, we want to embrace that and have a program that continues to evolve to, to meet those partners where they are to meet our client needs. It's great. Yeah, it's really interesting too is the evolution of all the companies that you're partnering with. Mm -hmm. You know, I guess out of curiosity, you know, you, you see the tech sort of cap capacity and capabilities of these companies are always expanding. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things I noticed too is, you know, you're on stage now in these partner relationships coexist inside of sometimes what are competitive relationships yes. too, right? Yes. 
How, you know, can you share a little bit about kind of the dynamics there? Mm -hmm. I mean, is it about like kind of creating the stovepipes, the partners focus mm -hmm. on the partnerships, and of course you both have your teams, you know, yes. where you can keep progressing together and you build that trust layer mm -hmm. together, but at the same time, you know, you know that sometimes you may walk in and realize that, you know, AWS won a project that you also were going in with yes. an IBM AWS yes. and vice versa. IBM wins something that was, you know, you went in with an Adobe Microsoft, you know. <laughs> how does that sort of work? And I mean, is, how do people keep competition and, 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 and the partnerships in, in, in a practical view? Yeah, I mean, I think cooperation, you, you said it, it, it's become, so prevalent when we look across the technology industry, but I think it comes with, it comes back to what we talked about earlier, the trust and transparency. We have to be upfront with our partners where we are going to compete and where we're not going to compete. And while now the, the added complexity is we're asking our teams to operate in that gray area, it's, it's no longer black and white, but that's the fun of it as well. And I think that Arvind talks a lot about growing the pie we are better off, we can achieve more. One plus one equals three. We can achieve right. more and grow the pie more when we are cooperating and working together and really going to our clients together. But you're right, it does add a lot of complexity. That's, that's my life. <laughs> <laughs> Such a mature view. Yeah. I mean, boy, have we evolved as an industry, right? But it, it is just, I mean, everybody has embraced this. It does take a village. And, I'll admit, I, I, I was surprised when I saw the IBM apps show up on the AWS marketplace, but your clients were asking for it, That's and it made want. sense for IBM, mm -hmm. it made sense for, for AWS, and at that point I, I knew, wow, this is a, this is a different company here. Yes. So yes. Uh, I'm sure you had something to do with that, uh, uh, but it was, uh, it, I noticed it uh, in a big way. And, and not just from an IBM point of view, but even from an AWS point of view. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. Keep up, the, uh, keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Pat. Absolutely. All right, Kay, well we thank you so much for being with us here at this year's uh, Think 2024 in Boston, Massachusetts, Kate. Thank we'll you, We'll have to have you back again. We'll do I this again. I would love to be back. All right. And everyone out there, we thank you so much for joining us here for the 6.5 on the road at IBM Think 2024 in Boston, Massachusetts. Subscribe, be part of our community, join us for all of our shows, enjoy the rest of Think. We'll see you all soon.